Question 55. Among the following sets of examples for divergent evolution, select the incorrect option. Now, divergent evolution is based on homology and here there will be three options in which there are homologous structures mentioned and one will be the odd one out. So, let us review these options. Four limbs of man, bat and cheetah. So, they have the same basic design and that is why these are homologous structures. Heart of bat, man and cheetah. Again, these are homologous structures. So, eye of an octopus with that of eye of the mammals, these two mammals given over here, these are analogous structures because they have different retinal positions. So, this is the odd one. The fourth choice brain of bat, man and cheetah that is again homologous. So, here the incorrect option with respect to divergent evolution is the third one. So, here option number 3 is the correct answer. Now, let us move ahead with question 56. Now, let us take question 56. Conversion of milk to curd improves its nutritional value by increasing the amount of. Now, when milk is converted to curd, there is bacterial activity which is by lactobacillus and these bacteria are releasing one particular vitamin and that is B12. Now, B12 is cyanocobalamin, a cobalt containing vitamin. So, this would be our right answer that is option 4. Now, let us take the next question 57. Now, in this which of the following is not an autoimmune disease? Now, autoimmune disease is one where our own immunity is directed against one tissue or organ or any of the particular cells in the body. Now, here the options psoriasis. Now, in this disease there are itchy patches formed on the skin. Rheumatoid arthritis, here there is rheumatoid factor being formed which is acting on the synovial membrane leading to inflamed joints. Vitiligo, here also there are whitish patches formed on the skin. Now, Alzheimer's is a disease where there are a number of reasons for it, but one major reason is that beta amyloid plaques are formed due to which there is deficiency of acetylcholine. So, the cholinergic neurons are getting damaged and this disorder is not considered autoimmune. So, here our correct option would be answer 4. Now, let us move on to question 58. Now, let us take this question 58. The similarity of bone structure in the four limbs of many vertebrates is an example of. Now, if we see the vertebrates which are having the limbs. So, in their case we will find that there is the same basic design which is also called by certain evolutionists as the intelligent design. And they believe that this intelligent design must have evolved once and it would have passed on from one type of organism to another. And so, if we see this intelligent design in the forelimb, what we will find is that there is humerus, radius ulna, carpals, metacarpals and phalanges. And this type of similarity among related species is called homology leading to divergent evolution. While analogy leads to convergent evolution where similar structures arise due to same type of environmental pressure in unrelated species. And adaptive radiation of course, is a method of speciation where one type of ancestral species radiates into many different species when they get vacant niches. So, here our answer is option 1 that is homology. Now, let us take the next question 59. 